So we're going to have to do something to show that f of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 2, everything squared, minus 1. So the question again, if f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x, show that f of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 2, everything squared, minus 1. And they do tell us in the question that we must show this by completing the square. Now, many students find it difficult to substitute something like x minus 1 into an equation like this. But we have to just have a look. What would we do if I said to you, find f of 2? What would you do if I said, find f of 2? If I said find f of 2, what you would do is everywhere in the place of x, you would substitute in a 2. Now, Maputi, I hear you there. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, it's great to have you here. Now, Maputi, as I was saying, I don't know if you were listening. The question says, show that f of x minus 1 is equal to x minus 2 squared minus 1. And they do tell us we must do that by completing the square. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, um, Maputi, what I want you to tell me is where would you start? What are you going to do first? Uh, I would start substituting the sums in the brackets. Yes, absolutely. That is what I was just saying is if they say to us find f of 2, what we do is everywhere where there's an x, we replace it with a 2. So if they say to us find f of x minus 1, all we're going to do is everywhere where there's an x, we're going to substitute in x minus 1. So we're on the same page there. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we're going to say f of x minus 1 equals. Now let's go back to our original equation. f of x is x squared minus 2x. So do you agree with me? It's going to be, what is it going to be, Maputi? Would it be x squared? Yes, but, okay, x squared is in my original equation, but now, everywhere where there's an x, I've got to replace it with an x minus 1. So, can you see that it's now going to become x minus 1 squared? Yes. Okay, minus, and what is the rest of the expression going to look like? What am I going to put in the place of that last x that's with the negative 2x? We're going to just put a x minus 1. Absolutely. All right, now I'm putting the first thing we're going to do now, before we worry about showing them what they want to see, is we're just going to tidy this up a little bit. Okay. Yes, so let's multiply out here. X minus 1, everything squared. That's going to be X squared minus 2X plus 1. Are you happy with that? Yes, ma'am. And then I multiply the negative 2 into the bracket, so it's going to be minus 2X plus 2. Yes, Okay. And now I'm just going to add my like terms together and I get x squared minus 4x plus 3. Mm. All right, now I'm a pretty. Um, they asked me to show that f of x minus 1 is x minus 2, everything squared, minus 1. And they said that we must do this by completing the square. So you agree with me we haven't completed the square just yet? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, can you talk me through the steps? How am I going to complete the square? What am I going to do? We're going to divide. We're going to put a bracket and then one over two. We're going to put a half and then tell, multiply it with a constant number. No, 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 no. I think you've got the... I, I'm not sure whether I'm following you, but, but have a look at what I'm going to do. When I complete the square, is, and what we must remember now, Maputi, is that this is not an equation. It's not equal to zero, okay? Now, the first step in completing the square is we have to make sure that the coefficient of x squared is 1. But do you see that's not a problem? In front of x squared, I do have a 1 here. Yes. Okay, so now what you do is you write your square term and you write your x term. But now... I'm going to take that 3 and I'm just going to move it away a little bit. Okay? Yes. Okay. Now, I've got to now in this little space over here that I've left, I've got to figure out what do I have to put in there in order to complete the square. Now, what I do is I look at 
the coefficient of x. I check what is in front of x. Can you see there's a minus 4 in front of x? Yes. Okay, now I'm going to halve it and I'm going to square it. So what is half of negative 4? It's 4. Yes, it's 4 that I'm going to add. Half of negative 4 is negative 2 and negative 2 squared is 4. So I'm going to add 4. But now, my pretty, I can't just start adding things in an equation. That's not cool. Okay. Yes, so right. if I'm adding 4, what I must also do is I must also subtract 4. Yes. Okay. So let me just tidy that up a little bit. Okay, now this part over here that I've circled, the square is now completed. So that can be written as x minus 2, everything squared. Okay? Yes. And then negative 4 add 3 gives me negative 1. And I've done exactly what they've said. Do you see, see that? Yeah. Okay, so in a question like this, um, for our viewers at home, if they ask you, show that the following expression can look like this, you're going to start with your... Um, substitution and you're going to be very careful substitute incorrectly tidy up your expression and it's very important that you remember when you do start completing the square that this is not an equation if it's equal to zero what we do is we half we square and we add both sides but if it's not equal to zero this is f of x minus one equals then we half we square we add it but we also subtract it.